everyone, it's Alan here from the Blinder Gwent Film Academy. And today in the prop shop, I'm going to show you how to make one of the easiest props there is that can be used in loads of different films. What is it? Well, it's old paper and parchment. So let's begin. To make this prop, you will need some plain A4 paper, some tea bags, a little bit of coffee granules, a pen, and a bowl of slightly warm water. So to start, take a piece of A4 paper and we're just gonna change the edges slightly because in the old days, this straight edge wouldn't have existed. So we're just gonna rough it up a little bit. Now to do that, we're just gonna take a slight corner and we're gonna tear all the way down. Now if you're lucky, it will go in one complete strip. But if not, don't worry about it. Just keep going until you get a nice rough edge all the way down. And we're gonna do this round all four sides. Once you've done that, you'll end up with something that looks like this. Now that our paper has rough edges, we can start to add the color to make it look like it's been around for hundreds of years. Now, I'm using a tray because things are going to get a little bit wet. You can put some newspapers down, or better yet, go out and do it on the kitchen worktops, which you can just wipe down afterwards. Now, you'll need a bowl of lukewarm water. This can be just straight out of the tap. Most importantly, don't have it too hot because you've got to be able to put your fingers in it without burning yourself. So you just need it slightly warm. Take one of your tea bags, and all you're going to do is just dunk it into your lukewarm water and move it around. Make sure it soaks in there for a couple of minutes. You want a nice dark yellow color and you can squeeze it a bit as well to help it come out. Now, this is the fun bit and you have to be quick with this. You're going to squeeze out most of the water of your tea bag and then straight away, you're gonna streak it down your paper as quick as you can. Okay, make sure you go right to the edges. All right, doesn't matter if some of the tea comes out, that's even better. Okay, squeeze it again, and you just want to colour it up. That's it, all the way. And make sure you get all the corners. That's it, brush off your excess tea. Now, if your tea bag hasn't come out and exploded, you can take a little bit of coffee, wet the granules, and just smear that in as well to give us some different shades and patterns. Now, once you've finished making your paper look old, you need to put it to one side for it to dry out completely. And when you've done that, it'll look something like this. Now check this out. It does actually get yellower as it dries, so it makes it look really, really old. Once you've got your bit of paper, you can now make it look even older by scrumpling it up a little bit, rolling it up, just putting a few creases in it, perhaps folding it up a little bit. All right, just you want it to make it look really, really old. Uh, and you might be able to see there that mine's torn a little bit. Don't worry about that. That makes it look even better. When you're happy with how old your paper looks, just take a pen and draw some final details onto the paper to make it into whatever prop you need for your film. For example, you could make a treasure map for a ruthless, merciless pirate looking for buried treasure where the X marks the spot. Or why not roll your parchment to produce a letter or document for an old wise man from long, long ago? Or simply fold it in half and place it inside a book where it can be found by an archeologist searching for clues for an ancient relic. And it's not just your actors that can use these as props. Why not put them in the background to fill up your set? Here at the Blinder Gwent Film Academy, we've used this old paper to make wanted posters in the old Wild West. And if you make loads of them, just roll them all up, place them in the corner of your set, and if you draw ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics on one of them, it could look like the inside of an Egyptian tomb. So there you go. Why not have a go at making your own paper and parchment to go in your next film? And we'll see you next time on The Prop Shop. 
What? What's coming back? Ah! I'm okay.